This video is brought to you by Setco Transportation. Chris, Robert, and Melanie Sutherland funded Setco in 1995 with two logging trucks and a vision of operating a family-oriented business dedicated to meeting the transportation needs of their customers in the Kootenai region and southern British Columbia, Canada. Doug Sutherland joined the company in 2009, working across the organization. Armed with dedication, determination, and a strong work ethic, Sutco Transportation grew quickly based on developing open and honest relationship with their customers. Sutco is committed to evolving in order to continue to be a strategic partner in transportation initiatives and maintain the reputation as transportation and logistics specialist. Today, wood residual transportation, van freight, heavy haul, log hauling, and third-party logistics and freight brokeraging have become the mainstays of the business. These transport services play a leading part of the southern group of companies, complemented by full-service offerings designed to create a complete network of support for heavy industry partners through integrated management solutions. Head over to sutcotransportation.ca and get a free quote right now. Good morning, how are you guys doing? Happy Monday. This is where our load looks like over here. We are on vacation right now. So I shot this video last week. So it's actually, you know, Thursday. I'm getting ahead of the game. Although it's starting to rain a bit. Uh, if you look at the mountain over here, that's all burnt. We're about to drive into a uh, somewhat active forest fire. Um, I saw across the lake on the other side of, um, what, what lake are we? Slocan Lake. So we're driving along Slocan Lake over here. So I saw the fires are still burning up there. So we'll see how this is. Hopefully it doesn't rain the light drizzle like it is right now. Either rain hard or stop raining so we get some good video. I uh, put a new camera mount up there. Let's test it out. Hopefully it sticks on there. It's tethered on either way. So if it falls off, it falls off. We'll see how it works. See if we like the new mount or not. Yeah, should be interesting. We'll see. We'll see if we see any smoke. I might stop at the brake check and uh, walk across to the rest area and show you guys the smoke across the other side of the lake. All right. Had to park at a little angle. That way it's easier to get to that camera. coming behind us? No. Get over to the other side just in case someone comes around the corner. Seen quite a few motorcycles today. Don't need a motorcycle to come screaming around the corner. <laughs> well, turn that radio down. Got a little bit of a climb here, fairly heavy load today. Yeah, we'll see how the cameras hold up. I've been having trouble with the cameras cutting off outside. Especially the load cam, it's shut off a couple times now. I don't know if it's a certain battery or a certain memory card or a certain camera. Well, actually, I've, I've eliminated the memory card, so I've tried the memory card in different cameras. Oh yeah, see, this is all burnt here on the right-hand side. So I've tried different memory cards. I think I've eliminated, it's not a bad memory card. I've got to find out if it's the camera that's shutting down or if it's uh, battery. So I've been marking batteries to eliminate that. And we'll see if it's always the same camera. And it's happened three times now where the uh, load cam has shut down, but 
I think once it was a different camera, but I'm not 100% sure. climb here. Very narrow road. Very, very narrow road. Yeah, here it's burnt on both sides. So the fire is technically not out because they're still smoking a couple of hot spots here and there, but it's not out of control either. Just, just like you know, a little fire that's slowly burning along. Silverton, 11 kilometers, New Denver, 14 kilometers, and the cusp, 63. Hey, here's a Sutco chip truck right now. little climb here. So hopefully you guys had a great weekend. Good Saturday, Sunday. I guess by the time you guys are watching this video, we're actually on the way. We're actually coming back home from vacation. So, so our vacation is technically over by the time you guys see this video. Right? Right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Red right, car, can you pass me? No? Come on, pass me. Please? Yes, no. The answer is no. Got a little way to go to our brake check and then we'll definitely get rid of this car by then. What do you guys think of the new camera angle? I, I stuck I stuck a camera mount onto a corner board. Other than it's raining and probably getting raindrops all over it. I had to tarp this load because of the rain. I'm like, it's not gonna rain. They're like, yeah, it might, so you really need to tarp it. I'm like, I guess I'll go tarp it. It's an extra hundred bucks that we can use on vacation. I have fire burned through here as well.
going down just so we can go back up. That's my first time coming through here since they've, uh, well, there's a fire line right there. The bulldozers have dug a deep trench I don't know if you guys saw that on the right hand side. Here's the brake check. Yeah, I'll quickly run into the rest area on the other side of the road and uh, give you guys a viewpoint of Slow Can Lake. Oh, if the rest area hasn't been burned, because this is burned on the left hand side here. Looks okay. So brake check. Shouldn't park in a brake check. Normally I would just go to the rest area, but it looks like they've uh, bulldozed over here and this is all burnt. And just smell charcoal. Mm. Yeah, these trees have all been burnt here and cut down. There is Slocan Lake. Yeah, everything here, down in here has been burnt. I see further down burnt, up there burnt. Did everything on the other side, it's all just burnt. Over there, you see little chimney smokes coming up. I don't know how well the camera shows that, but that's all forest fires, slow burning. Just little spot fires here and there making smoke. I didn't realize there was a fence down there and a picnic bench that you can walk to from the rest area. That's kind of neat. Never been here before, this part of the rest area before. I mean, this isn't part of the rest area, but man, what a beautiful view. And there are like cabins on the other side. So right on in there at the bottom, there's a cabin. I believe these are the Selkirks, the Selkirk Mountains. I mean, correct me, wrong, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, because I believe the Kootenays are over that way on the other side, up and over the Selkirks. And I believe these are the Selkirks here by Salmo Lake. And like I said, correct me in the comments. I like it when people f correct me. Really, no, I do. I do like it when people correct me. And uh, they've taken chainsaws and cut these trees down just so that um, when uh, wind comes, these trees don't topple over in a year or two and end up on the highway. Anyhow, Let's hammer down, get down into Silverton. And then to New Denver. Out. 
engine brakes on full. Fan on. Grab another gear. There's a reason why we do a brake check. All downhill into Silverton. So we just saw the view of Slow Can Lake from the way up high viewpoint. As soon as we get down the hill, we're like right on the water. So we're going all the way down to the water. thinking with the load cam it might be nice to have it a little bit further back on the load or even on the pup it might be a neat cam but I might be able to put it on the pup but on the on the lead here I can't move it any further back I can't safely get up there anywhere else on the trailer to put the camera up maybe I can get it on the lead in fact maybe you guys already saw that video on Friday I think I might try that Although that we're driving through, drove through the cusp on Friday. Would it be better if having the camera on the other side? How does that work? Hmm. I'll figure it out. See which which camera angle like better, this one or Fridays? Last week Fridays. Little, st little staticky. I've been hearing uh, fire fire wor workers working on fire fires like uh, heavy equipment bulldozers and stuff working on. out of range now and it's annoying Almost to the bottom. This would be an awesome loop to do on a motorcycle. Uh, let's say we start in Vernon, head down to Kelowna, take uh, Highway 33, down to Rock Creek. Go to Castlegar, come up to Nel, oh not Nelson, come up to Slow Can and take Highway 6 all the way back up to Nacusp and then back to Vernon. Big, big circle. I think that'd be a really fun motorcycle drive. 
would be a long ride for uh, a one day trip, but I think I'd enjoy it as a one day trip. Maybe not as the first trip of the summer, but... Or maybe do it the opposite direction. Vernon to Wardnikost, down to Castlegar, and then to Rock Creek, and then back up to Kelowna, Vernon. That direction might be a little more fun. If you want to make it longer, you can take west side along Okanagan Lake, too. There we go. Made it right down to the beach. Slow men along the side, slow people down. I like it. And that was Silverton. Next stop, New Denver. Speed limit's 80. There's no way. Uh, clear, clear. When, uh, when the gate, the gate closed, uh, the driver side there, uh, they got kind of pushed outward so the gate can't close properly. So I'm going to go and Give it a little of a sledgehammer treatment. There's no way we can do a speed limit. That's definitely burning still on the other side over here too. Definitely see smoke at the top. Apologize for all the raindrops on the lens on days like this. Can I get what you get, right? <laughs> Hopefully the mirror cam and the load cam are taking turns having uh, raindrops in the middle of the screen. Only 16 degrees Celsius outside. So I guess because we are on vacation, I should say that this was recorded on September 12th at about 1 p.m. As soon as I realized we were taking this route, I'm like, yes, this gives me an opportunity to shoot some trucking videos while we're on vacation <laughs> on roads that we just don't drive on a daily basis. So just so you know, the next two weeks of videos are going to be jumbled up, recorded months and months ago videos, um, a couple of videos of us in the pickup. It's going to be a mix mash of everything the next two weeks.
Denver. again. Carpenter Creek. Valhalla Inn. There really is a magical place. Zig and a little zag. And that was New Denver. Not a very big hill, but she's steep. We're down to 30 kilometers an hour. And you're right, there's no barriers down there, straight down to the bottom of the cliff. first time I drove this road was my very first week of trucking I drove this road. The opposite direction so I was right next to the cliff. It gave me that pit in the stomach feeling because I did not yet know the size of my truck. It was literally week one of driving big rig. I didn't know how big I am. I don't know where the wheels are of the truck. It takes some driving to learn where the size of your vehicle and I remember the first time coming up this road there's a couple of spots are just you make a mistake you die and I'm like I don't know where my wheels are <laughs> this is terrifying goes up to 90. Starting to drizzle a little heavier again. Golf course right beside us here, Slocan Lake Golf Club. Construction ahead. I guess there's no point in me speeding up. Check 
looks like they are working on trees. Yep, they're working on trees. this road inside out like I know highway 3 so you got to be a little more cautious Traffic controls on that floor. What does this sign say? A Roseberry, unincorporated. Well, guys, I think I'll leave it there. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching right to the end. Appreciate all your support via comments or thumbs ups or subscriptions or hitting that join button and actually uh, supporting us monetarily at any level depending on how much the videos are worth to you. For now, I'm out of here. You guys rock.